planning board meeting and the vote. Due to the similarities of and the absence of differences in Mr. Baker's request and mine, I specifically asked prior to the vote, I asked the planning board that each individual member at least cast their vote consistent with the way they had in Mr. Baker's case. Didn't happen. Wasn't to do. My response is this. We just celebrated the 4th of July, our day of independence from the mother country in. War of independence, a war effort to escape the oppression and arbitrary authority. One of the main reasons for the war was taxation without representation. I'm expected to pay taxes, not complain, and be significantly restricted in use of my land. The Pledge of Allegiance. We stood just a few moments ago and faced the flag and pledged allegiance to our country and to our flag. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Liberty, immunity from arbitrary exercise of authority, personal freedom from servitude, confinement, and oppression. Justice, the quality of being just and fair. While doing the July 7th commissioners meeting, Mr. Jordan said himself, in regards to county lighting issues, what we do for one borough, we must do for the other. That's quote unquote. And at the May 17th commissioners meeting, there was a comment from one county citizen, a newly elected official, I might add, stating, well, you know, I think it's okay to have a manufactured home if someone owns land and they have a family member, they want to put a family member on that land. Then it's okay to hire. But if you're not fortunate enough to have a family member that owns land, or you can't afford to purchase land, then I'm sorry and I wish you the best. That's all that's saying. That's all that statement is saying. That that citizen met. Sorry, wish you the best. Ms. Knight, for instance, she's got her own home on that line. She deserves it. Somebody here tell me that she doesn't. Chris Couch, Chris Couch, the county, at county AmeriCorps Vista Housing Committee coordinator, reported out at the July 7th commissioner's meeting. We just had this meeting. The county poverty level is 17% versus that of 4.3% for the state of North Carolina. What's this say to us? And all at a time when companies like International Paper are completely shutting down and stopping operations in our area, DASF, formerly CBER, is having hip camp reductions and significantly downsizing. There's a family right on the Gatlinburg Road that's had to downsize to a single way because of that, that cut back at CBER, or DASF to all which currently impact our county economy in a negative way and will for the foreseeable future. However, now, as was the case during the, the May 17th commissioner's meeting, commissioners of the Honorable Earl Ranger, where's Earl? He went home. He went home. I was waiting. The Honorable Earl Ranger spoke in favor of Mr. Baker's request on his behalf saying, quote, there's been a great wrong committed tonight and you, there's been a great wrong committed and tonight you, the county commissioners, have an opportunity to right that wrong. The results were that Mr. Baker's request was granted. No opposition, and I repeat, no opposition. Well, tonight, as a matter of equality and fairness, I'm in turn asking the same of the board of commissioners. Thank you. Thank you.